So many people are eating gluten-free these days. We've got an expert who changed her life by changing her diet. That's all on Full Plate today. Hey, we're just chit-chatting here as the beautiful theme song runs. I'm Rebecca Rainier, and this is Full Plate. Welcome to the show. Uh, just like the song says, I'm so glad you're here. And I'm so glad Helena is here, Helena Dara. And um, we brought you in because we know your mom and we love your mom, <laughs> right? Yes. And so Mary Helen Dara is Helena's mom. Mm -hmm, she and is. she told me about you, and we've been just waiting to get you here to talk to you. So um, a few years ago, you changed your life. Right. Let's talk about that before we go into what we're eating and why we're eating this way. But I think it's a story a lot of people can relate to. Right. Well, um, I think it was end of my freshman year. Uh, I went to OU. Uh -huh. uh, I gained a lot of weight, more than I was very healthy, but I, I wasn't eating the right things. I was mm -hmm. partying. Um, <laughs> I was so fatigued all the time. I was so tired. I felt sick. I, I mean, you're young. You're 20 yeah. years old, right? I you're was, supposed to be the prime well, of your life. I was only. 17. I oh, was like, 17 in college, yeah. So um, I went to the doctor, I got my blood tests, and I had really elevated sugar levels pre-diabetic, and that word just freaked me out because diabetes is something I never wanted to have, and I was like, why is this? Uh, I had high cholesterol, I had anemia, I had all these health issues. All and, these markers that are big warnings. Yeah, exactly. Like from, And I'm like, what, what is going on? I'm so young, I need to be healthy, I want to, I, I didn't understand why I was gaining so much weight. And so I decided, I looked up, um, I started researching on gluten-free and sugar-free, because I realized that the real enemy was the sugar. and not, In your life. Yes, exactly. Um, well, and just you know, I had a recent uh, discussion with some, what is pre-diabetes. If you are pre-diabetic, that means that you have a higher level of blood sugar, uh, but you're not quite diabetic, but you, it's the next step. Yes, the next step. Now you can change it though. That's yes, the thing, that's, of, exactly that's a great thing yeah, about pre-diabetes. <laughs> that's the good news. So you had that, but you know, you looked at your diet and thought it's the sugar. Yes, and it's different because everyone thinks fat-free is better. You know, fat makes you fat, and it's not the case. It's the sugar. The sugar is like an enemy. It, it's a drug. You keep wanting more and more and more, and it processes your body differently. Especially in my body, I could not process sugar well. So, like, if you ate a cookie, I'd be eating five cookies. So once you, I think I'd probably yeah. <laughs> also be eating five cookies. So yes, but that is the truth. Some people, when people ask me, should I go on a low calorie or a low carb or this or that, I'm like, it's really different for each. It's each different for every person. To, to yeah. say that you know, some people have no problem. They cut out the, they just do low fat and everything's fine. And yeah. it's all that isn't doesn't work for me either. Right. I need to really look at the carbs and the sugar when I'm trying to get it together. Simple <laughs> carbohydrates uh -huh. and sugar. So when you go to get yogurt, I would suggest that you get low fat yogurt instead of fat free yogurt because fat free yogurt has so much more sugar. Same with skim milk. I switched to almond milk. I know a lot of people <laughs> that have switched to it's, almond milk. They, they like it, like I it, like it. it. Yeah, you can pour it in your cereal. I mean, you can, I don't eat as much cereal, but you can bake with it. You can, I mean, I'll show you today how to make a, a frosty with it. And it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really great. I love it. So um, did you, so then you moved from the sugars to the gluten and, and yeah. talk about, I mean, so many people, I mean, we, it's, it's out there in the grocery store. You see it on the news. Mm -hmm. Where did you, cause I've looked at it before and thought, should I go gluten free? And it seems so hard. It seems so kind of get to that okay. point for me. So, it's like the three-day hump. After you cut out it for three days, mm -hmm. the first three days are going to be a little bit painful. But then afterwards, after you made it through three, day, three days, I've made it for two years now, and it's it, don't even crave it anymore. Why did you decide gluten though? Did you ha are you celiac? Do you have celiac disease? No, I'm not allergic to gluten, but uh -huh. I wanted more energy. And uh -huh. cutting the sugar alone was a lot. That's and a then, huge difference. Yes, huge difference. And because sugar is in everything that you wouldn't even expect. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you really read the labels, you have to be careful with your sugar intake. And then the gluten was something I found. I was researching and. It, it's a wheat-based product, and it doesn't help with digestion. It's there's many things that are so much beneficial if you just get rid of the gluten. And so I started doing that. You, but it, that's a big thing. So you said, all right, you researched, you figure out what is gluten, what am I eating that has mm -hmm. it in it? Yes, yeah, it has it in it. <laughs> and you made, and so you're in your teens when you did this. I was 20. 20. So yes. you've decided gluten-free at 20. Yeah. Talk about before and after. Well, I started dropping weight so much easier. I mean, like, 
Like now everybody at home's going, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now you. <laughs> it's, it, it goes, she was also 20, so yeah. just relax. <laughs> It, it was nice because, I mean, I had never been able to lose weight because, I mean, I was always doing portion control. I was tried everything. And after the gluten and the sugar were gone, it was just falling off. I had um, so much more energy. Like, I, I do insanity every day now, and, like, I feel like I'm... She's also 20. Yeah, yeah. Do not try yeah, insanity. Yeah, don't. It's, it's well, rough. You can. It's hard, <laughs> but, it's really hard. Do you know what? I got it on eBay. Didn't pay the full price. Bought insanity. Tried insanity. Hated it. Gave it away. Right? <laughs> It shows back up on my doorstep from the person I gave it away to. <laughs> We're all old, though, no, so. Well, no, there's, I mean, just even just walking in the morning, um, yeah. doing some. Exercise is good. Anything. I just was not good Planet at insanity. Planet Fitness, $10 a month. I mean, just go for half an hour, you know. It's, do you do insanity still? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So just it gives you more energy. You feel better. Yeah. You lose weight. Um, and I thought that, I mean, I love to cook. Cooking is my favorite thing. And I'm just thought, like mama. Yeah, exactly. My mom <laughs> loves to cook. So I, I learned from that too. And my grandparents and, um, but anyways, I would always, I found it interesting to take like some of my favorite recipes and then make them gluten free. Like I don't ever feel deprived of anything. And you lost a good 50 plus pounds. Yeah, about 65. 65 yeah. pounds. Mm -hmm. And you're not portion controlling your, but, or like, what are you, how are you eating? Well, what I like. I don't understand how people can be like, oh, I'll just have a little piece of cake, no big deal. And then I'd be like, no, like give me a, give no, me a no, piece. No, no, exactly. No, 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 no. But because I feel like you're you're not full after you eat it. So right. what I like to do is uh, my thing. At least some people may be like that. I like having um, eat till I'm content. Like you know, not full but content. So it's like I don't really go by portions. I go how I feel because I think you know I can eat as much as I want, but why would I just? It's called, it's, there's really an intuitive eating to know mm -hmm. how you feel and how the food right. makes you feel, and that's what your cue is. But that also extends to the fact that although you're not uh, diagnosed with celiac disease, you do feel better in mm -hmm. your diet if you're if eliminated a couple yes. of different things. So um, now that we have done that, let's, do, let's, let's talk about the first thing that we're going to make, and then we'll kind of go for a little commercial break and keep going. We've, okay. got a, we've got three different items and an example of something else that we're going to make. So just how you make your diet, you okay. know, not like a diet, but right. a lifestyle. So the first thing you want to show us is what? Um, this is, I found a recipe and it was, it had gluten in it. It was a, a broccoli cheese bites and you serve them for dinner. It had breadcrumbs and milk and all this stuff in it. So I kind of modified it and used flaxseed with it, which is an amazing, amazing. Flaxseed. Now yeah. do you, how do you do your flaxseed? Do you grind well, it up first? I or? buy it ground up. It's only $2 and 50 cents. It's you can put it on anything. Let me recommend this to you to, to buy it ground up because grinding up flat yeah. seeds. <laughs> it's, it's not fun. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let me yeah, try. I've no tried it. It takes that. forever and it doesn't really work. Exactly. And then you get seeds in your teeth and you don't get the benefit. So it has to be ground or else you kind of rolls right through. Right. <laughs> It is, well, that's another thing with the yeah. portion control. You feel so much fuller when you eat stuff with more protein and more fiber. So you made these bites. Let's start the bites here, and then we'll maybe take a break and okay. go from there. So what are the ingredients in? I've got my list here, but you've got flaxseed, eggs. What else do we have? So you're going to put two eggs. You're going to put uh, either flaxseed, steamed broccoli that you've cooked ahead of time, mm -hmm. um, cheddar cheese, which is one nice thing that you can eat cheese on being gluten-free. Um, I have some cumin, some onion salt. Um, onion powder, garlic salt, baking powder, and then Worcestershire. And then you're going to mix them all together and then make them into little patties and then we'll, uh, we'll cook them. Okay, so we're going to start, we're going to take a little break real quick and uh, we're going to start putting those ingredients in our nice red bowl. That's nice. Um, when we come back, we're going to finish these flaxseed broccoli cheese bites and move on to a cauliflower pizza crust. Is that right? No, no we're, we're not we're doing that. We're doing the frosty, frosty and kale chips. And kale chips. Yeah. Okay. So stay with us. We're going to start mixing this up. Uh, we've got two more good segments about how Helena eats to look this great and feel this great. This isn't a boat or an RV. Not once has it been a motorcycle, and it most certainly isn't your house. It's Lola, your car. Yet insurance bundlers keep trying to sell you house car v motorcycle insurance. Safe Auto gets it. You need the right car insurance for the right price. Not more insurance for a more price. Because what drives us, drives you. Safe Auto. Call, click, and enjoy the road ahead. so low, everyone will go. 
The $5.99 Great Haircut Sale is back at Great Clips. Get a great haircut for only $5.99. Check in from anywhere with our new app. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. Need stylish, functional, ultra comfortable shoes? Foot Solutions has the perfect shoe for you. Whether your issue is bunions, heel spurs, flat feet, high arches, or just long hours on your feet, no problem is unsolvable. With 31 years as an orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Tom Merritt will help you find the right shoe. If you don't think it's possible for your feet to feel good, just come to Foot Solutions and try on a pair. Rejuvenate your soul at Foot Solutions. Now with 40% off all fall and winter gear during our 2014 anniversary sale. Levis Commons is Northwest Ohio's everyday getaway. And now you can relax without worry when you enter to win the Leave it to Levis contest. Pick your own prize from dinner at Nagoya or Tea Tree Asian Bistro, jewelry from C. Sterling Jewelers, or a shopping spree at your favorite Levis Commons store. Just leave it to Levis and visit shopleviscommons.com for a chance to win an everyday getaway of your own. Welcome back. We are joined by uh, Helena. Helena, I want to say Mary Helen because that's your mother's name. <laughs> I bet that happens at your house all the time. Yeah, well actually I have a great grandma, Helene. She's from Syria. And then I have two great grandmas named Helen. So it's kind Helena of a... Helena Dara though. Is family she's name. like her mom but different. <laughs> All right, so you have uh, adopted a gluten-free lifestyle, and we're also going to talk about you all writing a column and everything about it, but we're in the midst of putting together uh, a flaxseed broccoli cheese bite that you adapted from another recipe which had breadcrumbs and some of the maybe no-nos that right. had the gluten in them. Exactly. And now, this came to her young. I mean, it's good that you figured this out young. Some exactly, of us take yeah. decades to figure these things out, but in college, you decided to change your diet and your yes. lifestyle. Yes, you know, it was... College is the time of your life usually when people are, you know, going out late, getting pizza in the mm -hmm. middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And I never missed, thought I missed out on a college experience by going gluten free. Um, I've, I've always felt like it was just it, just easy. I, I never struggled with it. You know, like I said, the first three days are going to be tough, but then after. Once you learned what you could have and what options were available, you were able to kind of go with right. it. Right. You just feel so much better that you think, why, why go back? Why go back? Exactly. Okay. And you know, if you eat to be healthy and mm -hmm. as fuel, as opposed to eat that's depriving yourself or to get to a certain size. I know size is a motivator for people, but honestly, the older you get, the less yeah. of a motivator it is. It's not about that anymore. It's about how do I feel? Mm -hmm. And do the clothes I've spent this money on fit me today? Because <laughs> I don't want to spend any more. Exactly. I mean, it's, it becomes uh, easier to to have that more healthy attitude towards it. Exactly. If it's just a size. Ugh. You know, as you, and plus, I mean, cancer runs in the family, uh, Alzheimer's, uh, a bunch of different things. So it's nice to, to get a nice start, you know, respecting your body because, you know, what you put in your body is what you are, you know. That's right. You are what you eat, mm -hmm. and we aren't gluten. That's for darn sure. <laughs> or you aren't. I might be right. comprised of gluten. Gluten. Take it, flies out of my veins. <laughs> um, so the flaxseed broccoli cheese bites, mm -hmm. uh, we've just got about, we've got, okay, just let me list it. Flaxseed eggs, garlic, onion, cumin, Worcester sauce, salt, pepper, garlic, salt, garlic salt, yep. baking powder, steamed broccoli, and cheddar cheese. And this is yep. just all mixed in? It's all just mixed in together. And you know, you can, everyone has a different palate, so maybe if you like a little more garlic, a little more lemon, you can do, you can add it to your, like, how you want. Mm -hmm. um, like my grandma always said, there's no such thing as a recipe. You, you go right. by what you I've taste. Heard, I've heard that yep. what your grandma always said. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. This is my, my Lebanese grandma, so she's okay, always told. Okay, so yep. if you have a lemon to squeeze, seriously, just stick it on there. Oh, I already squeezed it. Oh, I'm darn so, it. Oh, We're waiting so to cool. use this. Yeah. Just waiting. It looks like a spider. Well, some. some people think that this is an alien sort of deal that's <laughs> just waiting to colonize us. I say lemon squeezer. We'll that, see. That is We've never actually used it. Okay. Yep, so we're just going to add in, um, I like to add in all of the wet ingredients first, and then I add in the spices, mm -hmm. and then I add in our chopped broccoli, and then the flaxseed last, so everything is nice and uniform mixture. And then they're going to turn into like little patties, and you're going to roll them out onto the oven. Do you need this for that? Yes. Okay. Do. All right, so we, and we have them, what's the consistency that you're looking for? Um, it's kind of like a bat, it, it should be able to be in your hands, because mm -hmm. when you, once you add the flaxseed and the Is cheese, that what pulls it together? Yeah, it's what holds it together. Okay. So you, you yeah. should be able to roll it into a patty. So let's, um, 
you want to chop the broccoli up pretty fine. Mm -hmm. You don't want it um, too thick. I mean, it, it, like I said, it depends on how you like your broccoli, but it gives it a really nice flavor, especially with the cumin and the Worcestershire sauce. It's, I love these things, they're delicious. And you can serve them before dinner if you're having like a little craving something like bread. So, you know, like when you do go gluten-free, I feel like a lot of people, the biggest problem is bread. Now, do you go for some of the gluten-free breads that are out there? It seems so weird. Yeah, I I tend not to. I mean, because, I mean, they do have you a lot of... You made the change before all these products were exactly. available. Exactly. So it was kind of like, it was before gluten-free was like the thing to do. And I... <laughs> Everybody's doing I'm a hipster, it. I'm hipster, I guess. Yeah. You know, I have I was doing it forever. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... You know, I haven't tried any, so I mean, I, I don't know what um, the deal is with that, but I feel like a lot of them have like elevated carbohydrates too. Right, so you really didn't, I mean, if you if it was working for you, why change it? And yeah. all of the, the ways they were getting around not having gluten mm -hmm. maybe aren't such a great idea to add in. Exactly. So if you can do it without the... And then flaxseed is just so great for you too. I mean, it has so many health benefits. It's like a, it's a natural antioxidant, great fiber. My dad's a doctor, he always preaches about it when he was, when we were younger, we're like, ew, dad, that's gross. And now I'm like, I changed, I like it now. <laughs> See, it's amazing how smart our parents get the I older know. we get. That's what my dad always said to me. <laughs> I'm waiting for my kids to think that it's not happened yet. <laughs> so you're gonna add about half a cup of cheese and then a fourth a cup of flaxseed. Okay, and again, this is so smart and you can get it. This is just a Kroger, you know, Two, two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I used well, to, it used to be a product that you had to kind of seek out at the health food yeah, store, and, that, and it's most natural. larger grocery store chains are, are getting the idea that this is you know people buy it, they need to stock it. Exactly. Um, another nice thing about flaxseed is you can use it. I mean, I make flaxseed pancakes all the time. Oh. Yeah, it's all you. It do. really pulls it together. Yeah. It's, the, the, uh, it's like your breadcrumb. It's the thing that that really binds yep. things. Gotcha. Put it with sugar-free syrup, and it's delicious. I just you, all you do is mix. Uh, baking powder with egg and then um, a little almond milk and then you have your flaxseed pancake too. So I mean, it's really, it's, it's something I would definitely get just to have in the house for anything. To add to a lot. And experiment with, like grandma said, there's no recipe. Yep, exactly. That's all about how you taste. That's what she always says. All right, so it should look something about like this. I don't okay, know if you can got see. A, we've got it above. See, look. Oh, oh wow. we did. But yeah, stir that up and we've got our above. Can you see? Fancy. Fancy stuff. Fancy. We are a top drawer. All right. So you're going to kind of mesh them together mm -hmm. like so they look like little patties. Mm -hmm. um, the broccoli is going to cook really nice. It's going to get nice and crispy. Uh, what you can serve these with, you can either put um, a little sour cream on it if you'd like, which is gluten free. You can do. Um, well, I'm sold. Yeah. <laughs> sour cream is gluten free. You can that's do. It. I'm changing. Can, I yeah. am gluten free. You are now gluten free. Yeah, that's what's nice too. You can still eat um, a lot of the things. A lot that of you stuff. Love. Yeah, yeah, just a different different versions of it. And mm -hmm. I think I cook my friends who are in college and like junk food and they love what I make so okay so we put this in the oven yep I put it and, about and we've got one in there already yeah how long do you do what's the temp um what? I do 350 for about I'd say I after eight minutes I flip it so probably about a total of 15 minutes make sure it's cooked it's brown on both sides and then you do a flip yep yeah okay. and you maybe push them down a little bit too so okay. they're nice and flat so I'm gonna put, put that one in there okay. and you've got a uh, a pot holder don't burn yourself I won't. okay I've done that <laughs> okay, so she's going to rinse off her hands real quick, and when we come back, what are we going to make and look at when We're we gonna come We're going to make back? a gluten-free, sugar-free Frosty. Frosty. Yes. Everyone loves a Frosty. Yes. All right, when we come back here, we're going to show you what those uh, those little broccoli cheese bites look like, and we're going to make uh, a couple of other things to eat like Helena eats. That could be your bo that book, right? <laughs> <laughs> During Inside Out's Outer Peace sales event, get huge savings on every hot tub and every above ground pool. Choose from 15 top brand luxury model hot tubs. Priced from as little as $29.95 and no more than $49.95. Hundreds of above ground pools are priced from $8.95. Right now, get a 24 foot loaded pool package, not at $39.95, now just $19.95. Plus, get special financing only at Inside Out. We have all the fun. 
Join Menards in saluting American-made products with Menards Made in the USA sale. For a beautiful look that stays clean, choose Dutch Boy DuraClean. It features a self-priming formula. Save $5 a gallon. That's $25 on five-gallon pails. Manufactured in Groveport, Ohio, Water Boss water softeners provide clean, soft water. The 18,000-grain Pro reduces hardness and chlorine from well in city water, $398. The 38,000-grain Pro Plus is $448. Save big money at Menards. Broadway's Million Dollar Quartet tells the story of passion, fame, betrayal, and a night to remember. Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, and Elvis Presley are the Million Dollar Quartet, now an international hit musical. It's the music you remember, the story you'll never forget. Live on stage at the Stranahan Theater, March 20th through 23rd. Tickets at the box office and theaterleague.com. This is Paul's new Honda Civic, the same car that will take him and a very pretty girl on the best first date ever, with the Pandora that will set the mood on their one-year anniversary, and the Bluetooth that will remind him she's a keeper and don't mess this up, and the glove compartment that will hold everything he needs, including one very small box. Start something special now with the Civic from KBB.com's most trusted car brand. Visit your local Honda dealer today. Welcome back. Helena Dara is showing us how she eats to change her life, and it was mostly gluten. You got rid of gluten yeah, and, and sugar. Sugar, sugar yeah, too. Those two bad boys are out the of there, and you lost 65 pounds. Yeah. You found more energy mm -hmm. and really adopted a lifestyle that is working for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. And it's inspiring because we are always looking for something that's going to make us feel just that more energy, feel better. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got uh, the cheesy bites are in the oven. oven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the next thing? A, you said a frosty. Yeah, this is a, a modern take on a, or gluten free take on a frosty. Okay. Now, um, I do have a sweet tooth, and one thing I love is ice cream. So do you use artificial sweetener? What is your sweetener? Stevia. It's in You're this stevia weird, fan. yeah, okay. stevia or truvia, trivia. either one of those. Okay. Yep. Um, things without aspartame. There's also like sugar-free syrups you can get without mm -hmm. aspartame. So whatever, whatever floats your boat. Now we can use this, and then I also brought a banana for uh, another option. So some people, I don't eat too much bananas because it's high glycemic fruit, mm -hmm. but um, if you're not if you're okay with that, you can yeah. use a banana. So, okay, so, so banana. Sweetener. I'm not a big banana eater so either. So let's, let's admit the banana. We're not going to do it, but you can use we're this. We're not having that. Yeah, we're not going to have this have banana. If, if, so instead of the banana, we're going to use stevia. Okay. 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 So you can use one or the other. Okay. So we're going to start with um, half a or one cup of unsweetened soy, almond uns milk. Absolutely. Yep. And, you know, it is actually... If you get it unsweetened, it's not great to taste by itself, but um, you're adding all this. Little you stuff. can add other things to it. You can, if you eat it with cereal or like gluten-free cereal or anything like that, it, it's it's awesome. I I use it for baking. It's great. Um, you're gonna put about two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now I have to use a little more because I brought a teaspoon teaspoon by accident. <laughs> so we're improvising. Uh, now, I use whey protein powder a lot. This is great for the morning, too. It gives you energy for the day. It's only 100 calories, one carb, and zero sugar. So I would definitely recommend getting some whey protein. You can sprinkle and on anything. this is classic television. It never opens on yeah. TV. Yeah. <laughs> never open on TV. So put one scoop of the protein powder of your choice. Um, you know, you could investigate what kind you like the most. And then I put half a teaspoon of vanilla. You don't want to do too much because vanilla on its own tastes disgusting. It smells very good, but it, right. it, you need it, but you don't want too much of it. So half a teaspoon of the vanilla. I worked with the gal who used vanilla as her fragrance. Oh. She just, but it just made me think, oh, who's baking cookies? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's Whoops. all right. We got it going right. there. You keep going and I'll get a towel. Okay. okay. And then you're going to put about two teaspoons mm -hmm. of your artificial sweetener, uh, preferably stevia or truvia. Okay. And that, is that everything? Yes. No, don't no, worry well, about cleaning. You keep okay. cooking. I'm now, your do we, assistant. Do we have any ice? Do we have any ice? Yes. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. Okay. okay. So you're going to put about 10 to, I'd say about 10 ice cubes in okay. here and to, to the consistency you like. If you like your shakes really smooth, that's fine. But if you don't. Right. And then we're going to blend them up right now. Okay. Oh, 
plop a few of those guys in there. It's always better cold. Yeah. You don't have to put ice cubes in it, but I like to think of it as when I mean, it's kind of what makes the frosty is that frozenness. Yeah. All right. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Fire that up again. All right, do we have a cup, a glass? Yes, let's, let's have a little bit. I can't reach. Mom, <laughs> Mary, this is a brand new Mary Helen, too. I can't reach. She's over there on the side. <laughs> Here we go. Now you can drink it with a smooth, with a straw or a spoon. Check All right. It out. It's like a, and it kind of tastes like a frosty. This is one of the best shakes I've had on here. We've done shakes Thank before, you. but this is definitely one of the best. Very chocolatey. Yeah, it's, it's. And I mean, when I, I did the calculations for calories, it's 110 calories for, or 120 calories for the entire shake. So. Very good. Yeah. Very good recipe. We'll yeah. put all the recipes, of course, on fullplate.tv so that you can take a look. Okay, you're going to talk about kale chips real quick. Yes. I have some made, uh, just to show what you, they look like when they're finished. Okay. But um, these are great to serve for a party. Or What'd you bring. do? <laughs> what I did was you take, you buy a bunch of kale, buy a bunch not of like kale. a lot as an actual bunch of kale. Right, um, right. You're going to take the stems out and then have them kind of flattened out and put it on a leaf. Now, do we have a baking pan? Oh, we're, we're using it. It's in the oh, oven. Oh, right. But just, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll That's pretend. okay. Improvise. What That's we're right. going to do, we're just going to, you're going to lay your, your kale uh, flat. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about these is you can make a million different kinds of kale. Like I made salt and vinegar kale. Um, you kale can make is versatile, people. Yeah, oh, kale is like the super vegetable. It's awesome. You, I mean, so many antioxidants. It has a negative calorie intake. Like you burn more. Kale when you was chew the it. 2013 vegetable of the year. It is the it is the vegetable to be. <laughs> yeah, it is a great vegetable. So what you want to do when you you're going to lay them out flat, mm -hmm. make sure that they're not all bunched up, and then you're going to drizzle uh, olive oil or okay. any coconut oil, any kind of oil that you prefer and just lightly drizzle it. And then you can put salt, a little pepper. Now what I did, if you want to make different flavors, like I did salt and vinegar chips, I soaked it in vinegar mm -hmm. and then drizzled olive oil on top. You can do cayenne pepper, you can do buffalo, you can do ranch, you can make any kind of chip and you're going to bake it at 350 for about eight minutes and then you're going to flip them. So they're this nice chip. They should look something like, like that. that. Yes. And then they're great to serve at parties. Um, if you're the, ever in that, that, that crunchy feeling, feeling yeah, like you're eating something. Someone else is eating Cheetos and yeah. you are eating kale chips. Yeah. And you're feeling superior. Yeah. And well, I used to make them for my roommates in college. <laughs> and we would have, like, that's, I mean, it makes it sound really cool. Like, let's eat kale Elena's chips. having a kale yeah. chip party. Yay! <laughs> show we watched but my roommate Rachel would always buy the kale chips and then I mean they never had them before and then they loved them so you converted them to kale. I converted them to kale yes okay so also we want to let everyone know you are now a columnist because of your lifestyle and the fact that you are really creating recipes mm -hmm. your column is called healthy Helena healthy Helena and it's in the Sylvania Advantage uh, mm -hmm. paper but I'm sure also online at times yes too. yes all right, there. Oh, there she is. Oh, there it is. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, so again, we've got, we're going to have three recipes on fullplate.tv. And you did a great job. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you did a thank great you for job. Having me. No problem. Now, before we go, let's get those chips out or the, oh, okay. uh, the cheesy thingy, you know. I mean, this is what I don't know. That they're not they're, done, they're so let's look at the done, done ones. But this is, this is the step before you flip. Okay, so, so before you flip, it's going to look like this. And after you're done, done. It's they're, like this. Yeah, they look almost like uh, lock keys. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And All right. they're delicious. So and there's you cheese will in there. enjoy it. Yep, there's cheese. It's crunchy. It's Fantastic. chewy. Yeah. All right. In. If you're going gluten free, this is the way to go. Again, fullplate.tv. We've got it all online for you. All right. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Put those in there. Finish them up. She discovered she wasn't too old to donate and she saved my life. Doctors did everything they could to save her. She did something very selfless to save me. We discovered organ donation wasn't against our religion. And they answered someone's prayers. Those awaiting transplants have many faces, and so do the people who can help. Register as an organ, eye, and tissue donor today. It costs nothing. It means everything. Register at DonateLifeOhio.org. 
Did you know Toyota Prius has 40% more cargo space than Nissan Altima? And at 51 miles per gallon, can save you over $3,400 on gas. Now get a 2013 Prius with 0% financing. Toyota, let's go places. Get connected to local businesses at 13abc.com. The power of a funeral. The value of Walker. Your first stop is just a click away. Online or on the go, get connected to local businesses at 13abc.com. For breaking news and weather, like 13ABC on Facebook. Jack Hanna's Animal Adventures, brought to you by SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. For more than 40 years, working to preserve the world we share. You know, he's serious. He actually thinks I'm going to catch a crocodile. Grab his tail! Honk, honk, honk! Hi everybody, I'm Jack Hanna, here at my base camp, Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. Welcome to Animal Adventures. Capturing a huge crocodile requires a game plan. But even at the world's largest crocodile farm in Bangkok, Thailand, things don't always go as planned. But for my daughter Kathleen, our stop in Bangkok was smooth as silk. From a morning shopping spree at the floating market, to an afternoon at the zoo with a real Thai princess. So what are we waiting for? We're off to Southeast Asia in the bustling city of Bangkok. From the streets to the river, Bangkok is one busy place. I don't know if you knew it, but Bangkok wasn't always called Bangkok. What's it called?